Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today I'd like to talk about thread direction. Yes, it does matter what direction your thread is coming off of your spools. And it's especially important when we have our little vintage machines. So what can we do to make sure that that thread is coming off right? All spools of thread have a direction that the thread comes off. I'm not referring to coming off of this edge or this edge. What I'm referring to is that twist. How has it been put on that spool of thread? The way it's been put on is the way it needs to come off. When thread was first designed, it came in a spool that was like this. They were wooden and they were spun going up and down. And you can see that those cross threads are very, very straight. That thread is designed for that spool to turn and the thread to come off. It's important that the thread does come off in this vertical. And that also goes with new threads. There are some specialty threads that are put on that way. So they're put on, so they're in a very straight line. And you can tell just by looking at those threads. The newer thread spools are designed where it looks like you have these X's. So the threads are going on on an angle. That means they need to come off on an angle. So we do need it in this position. The spools are not made to spin. The spools are made to sit still. If you have a machine where you only have a vertical spool, we can get ourselves a thread post. And that's going to turn your thread on an angle. A great example is the featherweight machines. The spools are vertical and they were designed for that thread to spin. When we put on that new style of thread, this is turning. And you can see that thread is going up and down. What's happening is we're getting a bit of a backlash and it's twisting. It is also adding a little bit of extra tension because it is trying to come off in the wrong direction. So we need to take this thread and have it stitch in the horizontal. And that way that thread is coming off, the spool does not move. And the featherweight shop has definitely come up with the perfect answer for that. It is a thread post. The thread post is designed to take that vertical and turn it horizontal. We want to take that tapered end and it has a hole. We're just going to push it right through that post. There, it has been turned into that horizontal post, which means we can put on our different types of threads that are spun in that horizontal way. So we're going to be able to just slide that on. And what we're going to do is prevent this from moving. And the thread post kit does come with two different size thread caps. We have a larger one, and the small one is right on the end. So we can take that off, choose the one that's best going to fit. And once you've put that in, that spool is not turning. So that thread is coming off in a perfect tension. So it works good for this style where we have the hard bottoms. And it'll even work for the ones that don't have the bottom on them. Same thing, we're just gonna slide that in that is not moving, the thread is coming off perfectly. The kit comes with these little L arms and they're designed to go over this little pin. You will notice some of the machines, that little post curves in a little, like mine. Other machines, it's just quite straight that comes up. And what happens is when you're sewing really fast, sometimes that thread will bounce out. So if you have one of the ones that just comes straight, it has a little hole in it, 
you're going to be able to slide it on top and it's going to help prevent the threads from bouncing out. So by changing the direction of the spool thread, we're able to use all those beautiful new threads. Even though the machine wasn't designed for it, that's all we needed. These will work on vintage machines, and if you happen to have not quite a vintage machine, they'll still work the same. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter. It's all free under So Very Easy. And be sure to make every day a so day. Bye for now.